I want to tell you an interesting story about exposure. I was in New York having lunch with a couple of boys, and one of them told me a, an incredible tale that back in 1937, Eleanor Roosevelt thought that the country could use an art project to bring people out of the doldrums of the Depression. So they voted one million 1937 dollars. What would that be today? Incredible amount. And they sent photographers all over the world and they photographed and made color plates of the 48 world's greatest paintings. And they printed four million of these paintings, of these prints, and never put them on the market. They lay in a Brooklyn warehouse for 20 years. When I heard this story, I couldn't believe it. I went to the warehouse in Brooklyn and I saw these gorgeous paintings, uh, Van Gogh's and uh, uh, Michelangelo's, dozens and dozens of beautiful colored paintings, still looking like they did when they were originally painted. So I took 500 sets back to LA and I showed them to a couple of art critics and they said they'd never seen such beautiful work. I showed him to my printer, he said, you couldn't touch him today for a dollar a piece if you wanted to print him. So I went back to New York and I bought the four million art prints, loaded them on a couple water barges, brought them through the Panama Canal, unloaded them at Long Beach, and for my first, first public venture, I took a booth at the county fair in Pomona. This is a fair that runs every year. About four million people come to this fair. I put in studio lighting, I put a rug on the floor, I framed my beautiful prints, I put up a big sign, any Michelangelo, any Van Gogh, 50 cents. While I'm hanging up my prints, there's a fellow in the booth next to me hanging up shrunken heads. And he puts up a big sign, any shrunken head, 298. Well, I thought he'd lost his marbles, because who'd pay 298 for a shrunken head when you could buy a Michelangelo for 50 cents? Three hours after the fair opened, you couldn't get near my booth. People were stacked four or five deep in front of my booth. The only problem was they were an overflow from the shrunken head booth. <laughs> in 17 days, I took in $22, and this man sold 3,000 shrunken heads. And I asked him, where do you get the shrunken heads? He said, I make them in my garage. I said, what do you do for a living? He said, I drive a truck. I made him quit his job. We moved him and his family to Hollywood. We opened up a shrunken head factory. And in six months, I sold two million shrunken heads. <laughs>